97.7 XFM Manchester. A bit of a treat now. Nicky Wire live in the studio. Good morning, Nick. Morning. How good are you, mate? You all right? Yeah, it's great to be here. Good. Um, your album's coming out at the moment. I killed my Sightgeist. Well, how would you define the sound of that? White noise, lo-fi, kind of old school indie. Old school indie, fair yeah. dues. I noticed uh, a long uh, list of uh, inspirations. There was a lot there. There was um, J.D. Salinger. There was uh, Watership Down. <laughs> how, how are you inspired by Watership Down? It's just the first film that made me blub and cry. Like, I, a, it's, you know, when I became a modern man <laughs> and I realised men could cry too. <laughs> men, that film breaks you, though, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? You watch Watership Down and all innocence is shattered, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> it's when you realise things die as well. <laughs> it's, why do our time. parents... Sit, that, sit us down in front of that movie. Why don't they warn us? I don't know. It's because they don't want to tell us the reality <laughs> themselves, so they do they, it through a film. They should take a picture of us before and after, shouldn't they? Pre <laughs> Watch It Down, <laughs> after Watch It Down. <laughs> it's all over after that. And, and you're out and about um, gigging. Um, yeah. Are, are you enjoying it? The last time I spoke to you, you confessed to slightly nervous. How are you finding it generally on your own? It's just been a, a release, you know. There's no kind of preconceptions. I've done really odd gigs, like the Hey on Y Festival. I kind mm. of finished by doing a cow shed in Carmarthen and a really weird <laughs> festival in West Wales which was really kind of odd but you know I've just been doing stuff there's no you know I'm not worried about kind of doing proper gigs Right you don't you don't really want, want to take those I don't think so I don't think it suits me at the moment Fair dues and have you um, you, you confess to liking just a little bit of a tipple to, to, to get you up, to get you onto the stage is that Oh, it's driven me to be alcoholic again, like I said, with the, with the manics. My proper job, and never, I stopped drinking, and it's kind of... I need a lot more Dutch courage. It, it, it's tipped you back. And um, how about James? James has come out with his album, The Great Western. You've yeah. given that a listen, your comments? Oh, yeah, no, I mean, I always knew James had a great kind of 70s singer-songwriter solo album. The two solo albums, he is very much... I don't know, if it's a comparison, he's, his album is New Labour and mine's Militant. Right, you fair know, dues. Old yeah. school. Yes. It's the yeah. two wings of the Manus Street Preacher <laughs> yeah, party. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Split off momentarily. And uh, is it true you're gigging with him in Japan? I heard you've got a gig. There's a few things. It irons mm. in the fire. But the mm. trouble is, we're trying to finish off a Manix album at the same time, and everything's getting a bit complicated. It's getting a bit complicated. It is, because we're supposed to be going to America, trying to jam everything in. And how's the, uh, the Manix album coming along? Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that's always the most exciting thing for us, because it's three of us back together making a right old racket. Is it nice to be back in, back in the groove together kind of thing? It's like we've been away, now yeah. we're back. It's just great, because we've known each other since we were five, and straight away you're back to being who you always were, shall we say. And it's just, it's just a, it's a real comfort in being together. Is that the main thing you've discovered from your solo sort of journey what, is there anything else you've learned along the way so? it has helped yeah no mm. it has helped rhythmically in writing songs because I've been writing songs myself as well I think it's helped writing lyrics kind of flow a bit more because you mm. know I, I will kind of fame for a mouthful of lyrics at times yes. so I think that that's helped a little bit and um James thinks I'm a surprisingly good guitarist. <laughs> Does he st- I think learn the, to the appreciate re- each other? <laughs> the reviewing Q said, "Hmm, surprisingly good." <laughs> <laughs> so when you if, if you if you're on the same build together, will you will you be will you be doing any manic stuff together? Or will you be doing solo stuff on the same build? You think? I know. I mean, there's. Um, I might just. I'm trying to hijack a couple of James's gigs on tour to go and turn <laughs> up with an acoustic guitar and see if he's up for anything. But uh, I'm not sure. Any appearances that we can expect in a dress coming up? I'm trying to rein um, myself in. I've reached. <laughs> as soon as someone says it, I just. Just guess my juice is going. But, Start uh, to get tempted again. I do. I got the leopard print out this year in, in all the shops. You know, I'm there with my wife fiddling about. Come, why don't you buy this? <laughs> um, they're really re-releasing the classics manic uh, album. Everything was go. Yeah. A deluxe reissue, extra tracks mm. and footage. Do you know what's on that? All the little home demos me and James did in my old uh, terraced house back in the day in South Wales. Mm. They're all on there. There's some unreleased tracks. There's a full DVD. Stunning package. It's a, it's a bit of a treat, isn't it? Mm, it is. When, when's that coming out? That's out in November. And you've got your single coming out? Kind of coming out, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, you know, I mean, it's, I think if you want to get into my little world, then I think you'll enjoy it. Fantastic. Well, listen, Nicky, thanks a lot for coming in. We're going to play next. If you tolerate this, your children will be next. Thanks for coming in. It's a Good classic. Night.